to a, another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left-hand corner, we have I Love XTO starting as the Grey Terran 3 o'clock location. We have White starting as the White Protoss. This is game one of the losers match. There was actually... So React is also in this group, but React, I guess, had a walkover from XTO. Otherwise, those replays are missing. So do what I can. This is going to be a Monopoly doing this match first. Doing the losers bracket first here for the Twitch audience because... Uh, I was running out of time. As a side note, if anybody wants to help, I don't know, make visual cards or time stampy, whatever not, do the fancy stuff for YouTube or any other assistance, I am open to receiving it right now because I'm realizing I'm time strapped and can't do all the things I would want to do across the board as a result. So if you have thoughts or experiences or skills and want to utilize them, please let me know. Three o'clock location, white, dropping a pylon inside base. Between these two guys, I've seen XTO play, I feel like in the round of 24, he played pretty strong. I'm going to give the slight favor to White, just knowing White's history in Hasu League and not knowing XTO's equivalent history as far as like long-term tournament play. Both, I know, are good players. And actually, XTO also does commentary, so check him out. I think he does it for the Spanish broadcast. Portuguese broadcast? I'll have to double check that for BSL. Probe Scout moving out for White. He's already got that gateway up and running. It looks like he's going to get first scout. XTO kind of doing this diagonal defensive shell with the barracks in location. SCV wandering out. Let's see if it heads in the... So if it sees this probe coming in, it should know. Actually, this is kind of one of those interesting things. So as this probe enters the space, XTO knows he didn't cross paths with it, so he should be able to just redirect if he realizes, yeah, as soon as he realizes, let's see if he does do the redirection. Looks like he's not going to redirect, and instead he's going to just continue along the way. No initial zealot. We are seeing a cybernetic score before. Three probes in gas. So everything, uh, yeah, pretty standard play thus far. First marine being produced. There is potential where... And actually no gas yet. For XTO, so XTO might be wanting to go for like a 16 command center here. Which is exactly what he's opting to. So just plopping that command center down, wanting to get a big economic lead, very risky play, but not, might not pay for it. The probe was out of position to even spot what was going on because he, see if I can do this properly, is going to be sneaky and we're going to see a pylon to the 6 o'clock location. As if he's wandering in. XTO might... Here's the thing. XTO is going to confirm that there's no third pylon. Like, he doesn't know the location of the third pylon, but what can he even do about it right now? Nothing, because he went for this quick command center. We'll see what kind of shenanigans... So, fa <laughs> showing fake range, but really doesn't need to, because that SCV is not in position. He's waiting to see whether there's a nexus. White instead opting to go ahead and block the ramp. So at least there's confirmation. It looks like it is going to be, I assume, Proxy Reaver. And XTO could just get a big jump ahead if he gets the smell of this. Gets an engineering bay down. Currently building a factory, leaving three SCV on gas because he's already got that, that command center up. Building additional Marines. So only got two in that bunker. This SCV is starting to wander across. Two Dragoons now on that front. Robotics facility just about to finish. This SCV, yeah, okay, knowing that that third pylon isn't isn't in location, know that that knowing that that Nexus isn't nearby, wandering to the six, just so close to confirm this. The SCV able to wander in confirms. Okay, there's nothing in this base, so there's got to be something out there, right? I'm not sure how it manages to sneak across this. Sees Dragoon range very, very late. Second factory's up. But now does XTO get some form of detection or anti-air? First shuttle being produced. Robotic support bay in the upper left hand corner. I don't know if that was confirmed or not. And the SCV looks like it's backing off and wandering, just trying to find what's out there. There's the engineering bay being produced. But now XTO needs troops on the ground to deal with this Reaver that's going to be built momentarily. 
There's the support bay. There's the Zelts. There's the Reaver. So this is going to be very, very, very fast. Reaver shuttle. Probe just dive bombing to the front. There's only three Marines. Siege tech is being upgraded, but I don't know that these siege tanks are going to be in time to deal with this Reaver harass. Because this Reaver is going to be out. Probably going to have free range shortly. This, this SCV actually saw that Zealot walk right by. Hasn't seen it. I think it saw, maybe didn't recognize it on the mini-map. So this could be very devastating. So, first two tanks in production. Siege tank also being upgraded. Only four Marines in the bunker otherwise, and they have to contend with a Reaver and two Zealots. So this is an opportunity to do a lot of damage for White. And XTO not even recognizing it. Just taking two huge SEV hits. First siege tank out. A dud right there. White still behind economically. One zealot running towards that initial siege tank. It looks like one siege tank. Yeah, with these two zealots, they're actually going to be able to take out these siege tanks on defense. Which means XD only has four marines and two... Well, looks like only one siege tank in production. So this reaver and zealot having free reign in the base... So things looking grim now for XTO. Second Siege Tank out. It's going to get wiped out. And let's see if he just, yeah, wanders up to the natural expansion. Now XTO potentially not going to be mining. Full control group of SEVs being pulled out. That was a dud. The Zealots tangling right there. Another dud, but this is still lost mining time. And this is, yeah, big value. Still no natural expansion grab, though, from White. Looks like instead he's moving Dragoons to to assault that natural expansion while all this is happening. SCV's group attacking the Reaver, which is never a scenario for a success. At least keeping that Siege Tank alive so it can take care of the two Zealots. And the Reaver continuing to disrupt XTO's mining. So despite being up on the worker count, he just hasn't been able to get a lot accomplished. Another huge hit taking out the SCV and... Wow, just great play from XTO. Backing out with that Reaver and Shuttle now that that bunker has been taken out on the front. And more SCV need to be here to help repair it. The Marines are gone. They can't beat the two Dragoons. And now XTO losing that natural expansion. The Reaver continuing to move up and try to draw these troops back while the Dragoons are just assailing the natural. And more Dragoons moving forward, as well as a natural extension, expansion take for White. XTO's economy being really hampered. Finally, Marines are here. Potentially to help defend. But how long are they going to live? Siege Tank just popping out, taking in time to get a huge Reaver hit. Another Reaver looks like... I didn't even notice that two Reavers got scooped up. Move back to the 6 o'clock while I was looking at everything else. So the Reavers continuing to obliterate everything here. White... Now as Dragoons attacking that natural expansion, the command center being group prepared, but not for long, because Reavers here are going to go ahead and take care of that. Dragoons rushing to take out additional SEVs, and now, yeah, XTO's base completely breached. Well played by White. Taking game one, really controlling the match top to bottom. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.